Hey, there he is. Okay, well, isn't that kind of contradictory? Ooh. And welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Hope y'all are excited, just like I am. Got a rat, baby. We ready to kind of start. Got these shirts. Now, the shirts are just, you know, little generic ones right now. It is what it is, but uh, let's see. You'll see it as I record. But here we go, man. All of our glory. That's where we're at. We rebranded it to that. Pretty slick, you know, got a little salute and B, B right there. <laughs> I came up with it. Um, but yeah, you guys can see there, we got, you know, just a really nice contrast and color. This just pops, man. It's really dope, really excited, you know. So. Just the first step, guys. First step of today, we're doing an evaporator swap on, you guessed it, not a rude, but a good man. So, uh, there's a leak in here. It actually came out on the maintenance, and it was running probably about, I want to say it was like a 31 degree saturation. Filter was fine, all that good stuff. So, we just juiced it up. Did find a leak in there using my field piece um, leak detector. So went and picked that up, just got in. So that's what we're doing today. Got a bunch of these, uh, as I didn't know what they were called, bandit signs. So when I leave out the neighborhood, stop sign over there, I'll put that there. And people will throw it away. That's why they're, they're cheaper, but you know, for the cost of that, have this in here. Still got a truck is a mess it looks good on the outside but looks like shit on the inside but it's all right so let's get started and of course <laughs> starting to rain so let me shut these valves down real quick before things get crazy. That one too. Shut the liquid line all the way down. Basically take the suction line all the way down and back it up. Contrary to what I've said in my video, I do work in the ring. I know there was a lot of people commenting on that. Don't like having my shit out in the ring. So. So we just go get up in here, cut this copper loose, raise in the new coil, purge nitrogen, of course, because you're out there. And uh, evacuate, charge it, get on to the next one. I've said this numerous times on this channel. What I like to do is I like to get, basically, we're gonna just put a whole new piece right there. I don't know if y'all saw that <laughs> but just pull the fuse because uh cut it with the knife no big deal that's why you heard that should already have this dead but matter of fact let me do it now not that it matters let's see where are you he's here bam we'll just turn the ac off for fun too oh look the bee's knees. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 
this, blew it. But that's okay. Because that's what we do. Kind of how I like to operate. So, what I'm. I mean, see, that's just ghetto. Like, bro, like, run that shit better, man. This is janky as hell. I always pull, like, the coil kind of out and I cut the, behind the hub. Because it just gives me more room because people braze elbows on and all that stupid stuff like that. It just gives me more room to work with. Edmonds makes it easy for me, like I said. And while it's here, I just want to clean it because this gives it more rigidity, right? end up flushing this. Wow. Damn, I might just actually end up cutting it here. And just kind of sweeping a new piece. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut this whole piece out. Uh, get this taken out, prepped up, throw this one in. I'm gonna flush it. Um, but while I do that, uh, I'm running low on storage here. So we'll see what we get from But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Because, uh, yeah, y'all saw that nasty. So, fix that up, get this thing right. I ain't recording because I'm annoyed. I gotta go back to Goodman and get a valve for this. That's why I hate Goodman. So I flushed it. I'm just gonna keep it as is. Going to braise this all up. Put a little rag here. I uh, gonna run over to Goodman get a new TXV because with all that, I don't even wanna bother with this one so i'm gonna run out do that shit after i braise this yeah that's what i'm gonna do let's <laughs> have a good time all right so 
Just got it all prepped. That way when I come back, I can just screw in the valve. They have it at my closest one, which is about 15 minutes away. So, go ahead and button this shit up. I will do that filter dryer too. Should just knock that out. Yeah. All right. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and close all this shit up. Um, I might as well go ahead and go warranty that while I'm here or there, like I said. And uh, we'll come fix them right up. And that's how it's done, y'all. Putting out the bandit signs because people want to take the signs because they really, you can't be doing that. But hey man, if we get a phone call out of it and we're in that neighborhood and they can recommend it or they just call us and leave a bad <laughs> review and give us a bad complaint or something. So never had that issue. But it's what we got jamming. Uh, here, let me uh, let me hook you guys back up here so I don't have to hold the fan. Hold on. All right. So <sighs> let's, let's have a real moment here, right? Your boy forgot to take the plug out the bottom of the TXV. I was already frustrated with that job just because they didn't send the TXV originally, which was annoying, right? So had to go back. Took it out the top. I took this screw off, and it has got that little clear piece on there from uh, Goodman. And then it had a little blue one on the bottom, and I just threaded that bitch on, and I was like, "Yeah, we good." After the evacuation, fire it up, pumping right down. I'm like, Ugh! you know, so I open up the the low side, nothing's in there. I'm like, like what the WTF? Um, yeah. Anyways, I had to whole, redo the whole evacuation process. Which didn't take long anyways. It was pretty quick, um, considering. But that was me just getting too far ahead. Not taking my time, but we all do it. It is what it is. It's fun. But, uh, yeah, got the first check made out the busy air. So it's, it's pretty cool, man. It's exciting. Like I said, one like this shit, man, it just kind of brings everything to reality. It's super exciting, super dope. Um, getting a lot of good feedback from the customers because it's not it's not like wow like all cluttered and stupid and they ain't got the snowflake in the flower like every snowflake in the flower they go hand in hand and ain't got the snowflake in the f oh my gosh the snowflake or the fire and it's uh not red and blue like everybody else it's it's uh it's unique man so and we can branch off of this and add more things which is the plan right so it'll be like busy home right too busy for your home call the b i don't know some shit like that but it's, it's it's all marketing dude and branding and right now i'm the face of it so i gotta make sure these people are getting a hell of a good service which is what we provide here uh that's, that's gonna be the separation i uh, did sell a unit today so that'll be the first actual install going under busy air as well that's going in thursday so i'll document that for you guys but if y'all have any questions, any feedback, anything, you know, what works for y'all, all that good stuff, man. Even, you know, four-year companies, this, that, and the third. It's about getting our Google reviews up now. So, like I said, we use Service Titan and it's linking our URL through the text message when the, uh, the service is over. Like, hey, what do you think of your technician service today? Then it'll just link everything like Google, Yelp, 
next door, dot, all that shit. That way, you know, we can just, <whistles> but it's still gonna be a grind regardless. Um, HOA said we couldn't park there, so gonna get the letter. Still, they still said, yeah, da da da. So we're gonna get an HOA attorney potentially just to write up something because it's my livelihood and they can't turn it down. Plus, it's upsetting my wife. It is what it is. Matter of fact, when I'm doing this, I'll just get some gas now, which I don't know if I can do because. Where's my wallet? Hold on, y'all. There it is. We found it. We good. Um. I'm gonna throw this in. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Things are things are moving up. We had a great January. We had a shitty February. Um, but it's what it is, man. Peaks and valleys, as always. That's what we go through. Uh, but March is already looking out. We got a big duck job coming up. Um, on. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and we're doing blown-in insulation. So, you know, it's just another feature we can add because we can all we gotta do is rent the machine, and we've done it a few times. But you know, 22 drops. Hopefully, the weather kind of breaks next week for us. We'll see how that goes. Uh, damn, 350, bro. Shit's getting expensive. Um, yeah. That's what I got. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope everything's going well. If y'all don't mind, smash the like button. Consider subscribing. All that good shit. I'm going to get home. Drive safe, be safe. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Later. Shout out to Gnarly Bones while I'm here. And uh, inspected and improved uh, for accuracy. Sick, sick. Sick sticker.